welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some very, very important Victorian novels which you must read if you are preparing for UGC NET English Literature exam. The first important Victorian novelist is Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens has written so many novels. You must uh, know that from all these novels, there are three most important novels that you must study if you're preparing for UGC NET English Literature exam. The first important novel by Charles Dickens is Tale of Two Cities. As the title suggests, Tale of Two Cities is based on the story of two cities, London and Paris. The story is set during the French Revolution and it opens with the beautiful line, it was the best of the times, it was the worst of the times. This line has been asked several times in net exam, so you must remember that this line is from the novel Tale of Two Cities. The second most important novel by Charles Dickens is Great Expectation. Great Expectation is a story about Pip and his love for the girl Estella. The novel is important because it has two endings. One ending was given by Charles Dickens and another ending was given by Charles Dickens on the request of his friend William Wilkie Collins who asked Charles Dickens to give another and a more pleasant ending to the novel uh, Great Expectation. Another important characteristic of this novel is that Thomas Carly said that this novel is appropriately termed as Pip Nonsense. Okay, so Thomas Carly had his views on this novel. Also, this novel has a special character called Mrs. Havisham. Mrs. Havisham is an old lady who is dressed in a wedding gown. And she's dressed in a wedding gown since the day of her marriage because she was ditched by her fiancé on the day of her marriage. The third important novel by Charles Dickens is Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist is also called as Parish Boy's Progress. So you can see how Parish Boy's Progress alludes to John Bunyan's Pilgrim Progress. So there is a link in the two titles. Also, you must remember that Oliver Twist is a novel which is based on the life of an orphan boy Oliver and the story revolves around the new poor law of 1834. This question was asked in uh, UGC NET exam several times so you must remember that Oliver Twist is a novel which revolves around the new poor law of 1834. The second most important Victorian novelist is William McPeace Thackeray. William McMeese Thackeray was born in Calcutta and he also worked in the East India Company. He has written several novels out of which Vanity Fair is very important. Vanity Fair is subtitled as a novel without a hero. It is about a Victorian heroine uh, called Becky Sharp and the novel talks about her life during the Napoleonic Wars. Also, what is important about this novel is that uh, the title has been taken from John Bunyan's Pilgrim Progress. In John Bunyan's Pilgrim Progress, Christian, the hero of Pilgrim Progress, goes to a uh, Vanity Fair. And this title, Vanity Fair, has been taken from the same Vanity Fair uh, in which the Christian goes. Also, at the same time, you must remember that this novel, Vanity Fair, has a very, very important closing line, which says that which of us is happy in the world? And this is how the novel ends. Uh, there are several other novels by William McPeace Thackeray like Penn Dennis, uh, History of Henry Esmond. History of Henry Esmond is important because it's a historic novel which is based on the life of a colonel who works in the court of Queen Anne of England. There are other novels by William McPeace Thackeray which are important and we cover all those novels as well as summaries and important points about those novels in my course. Uh, which is available on my website www.arpitakarva.com uh, In the website you will find a list of all the important writers that we cover in our UGC NET English uh, audio online course. You can subscribe to my course and prepare for UGC NET in a revolutionary way. The third most important Victorian novelist is George Eliot. George Eliot's real name is Mary Evan and she has written so many important novels out of which Middlemarch is very important. Middlemarch subtitle is A Study of Provincial Life and this novel is very important because Virginia Woolf has commented that this is one of the few English novels written for grown-up people. The novel is set during the Reform Act of 1832. Also, it has references from several places. In the prelude of this novel, there is a reference to St. Teresa and this was a question in January 2017's NET exam. 
Also, there is reference from William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. In Twelfth Night, the clown says that by swaggering I could never thrive, for the rain it raineth every day. And the same line has been quoted in this novel as well. Other than uh, Middle March, uh, George Eliot has written so many other novels, out of which Mill on the Floss is important. Mill on the Floss is a story of a brother and a sister named Maggie Tulliver and Tom Tulliver. And in the end, we find that there is a very important line which says that in their death, they too were united. And this has also been asked in net exam several times. So you must read the summary of Middle March and Mill on the Floss. Other than this, George Eliot has also written a very important historic novel called Romola. The novel is based on the story of Italian Renaissance, but this novel was not at all popular during George Eliot's time and it was a complete failure. So you must remember, you must not read the summary of Romola, but at least remember that it was a historic novel written by George Eliot and it was not at all popular during her times. The fourth important Victorian writer is Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte has written this beautiful work, Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre's subtitle is An Autobiography. This is a novel which is very important from feminist point of view because it has a heroine who asserts herself as a true feminist character. She says in one of the chapters of the novel that I am not an angel and I will not be one till I die. I will be myself. Also towards the end, Jane herself addresses the reader saying that reader, I married him. Okay, so this is how the novel ends and the ending line, reader, I married him is very important from net point of view. Also, you must remember that this novel is important due to several characters who are the part of this novel. One is Mr. Brocklehurst. Mr. Brocklehurst is a school instructor who uses uh, religion as a medium to justify cruelty. There is another important character named Bertha Mason. Bertha Mason has inspired several other writers who have written so many other works on this character Bertha Mason. One writer is Jean Rice. She has written this beautiful work called White Segura Sea, which is a prequel to Jane Eyre. Also, there is another important writer, Suzanne Gilbert, who has written an essay, Mad Woman in an Attic, which is based on the character of Bertha Mason. So these are the things which make this novel very important from that point of view. There are several other novels written by Charlotte Bronte, namely Professor Willard Shirley. They are not so important, but you should remember the title and certain important characteristics of those novels as they have been asked in net exams several times. So this is all about uh, Charlotte Bronte. Now let's move to another important Victorian writer. The next important Victorian writer is Emily Bronte. Emily Bronte has written this beautiful work, Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights is a story of Catherine and Heathcliff and it is a story which is driven by passion and revenge. Uh, Matthew Arnold has praised this work saying that it beautifully portrays grief, passion and vehemence. Also at the same time you must remember that the story employs frame narrative. The story opens with a man named Lockwood and the opening scene is very important because the man is sleeping and in the dream he dreams about Catherine who is uh, pushing the window panes and she is trying to get into the room saying that let me in, let me in. So the opening scene is important. The characters are not so important from net point of view because they have not been asked in net exams till now. There are so many characters in this novel but you should at least remember the basic plot line in order to attempt the questions wisely. Next important Victorian writer is Elizabeth Gaskell. Elizabeth Gaskell has written a work, North and South. This work is very important because it talks about the demerits and harsh effects of industrialization. The work was inspired by the writings of Thomas Carley. Thomas Carley is another Victorian essayist who is writing in the same period and has inspired Charles Dickens and Elizabeth Gaskell. This was asked in UGC net exam. Uh, also, you must remember that the basic plot of uh, North and South is that it is a story of a girl, Margaret, who supports the labor class and the mill workers and clashes and stands against the mill owners. 
uh, Elizabeth Gaskill has written another important work called Life of Charlotte Bronte. It is a prose work written by Elizabeth Gaskill on the request of Charlotte Bronte's father. Now let's look at one of the major figure of Victorian society who is Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy has written so many important novels. His novel Under the Greenwood Tree is important because the title has been taken from William Shakespeare's As You Like It. Other than that, there are several other novels which uh, must be read in detail if you are preparing for UGC net. Namely, we have Mayor of the Castor Bridge. The subtitle of Mayor of the Castor Bridge is Life and Death of Man of a Character. And there's a very, very important line in this novel which says that happiness is but an occasional episode in the general drama of pain. And this was asked in UGC net exam that this line is taken from which novel. Also, you must remember that this novel is important because in this novel, the central character sells his own wife. The protagonist sells his own wife unknowingly. So basically, the novel deals with how a man's choice affects his life. The second important novel which must be read is Tess of the Durbervillis. Tess of the Durbervillis talks about the morals, sexual morals during the Victorian period. Also, there are certain scenes which are very important. The scene when Tess writes a letter and slides. Uh, Angel is not able to read the letter because the letter gets, in, uh, gets under the carpet. That scene is very important. Also, it is important to know that Tess is a novel which not only talks about the Victorian society but also talks about the condition of female and how females were treated during Victorian society. The third important novel is Jude the Obscure. Jude the Obscure is an important novel because here Jude, the central character, is compared to a character from Bible. The character from Bible's name is Joe and Joe is compared to Jude. So this comparison is important. Other than that, he has written several other novels like Far From the Madeline Crowd. Uh, he has written poetry also, Darkling Thrush, which is important. We talk about all the major novels, summary, important characteristics in my online course. So if you wish to study all the important novels in detail, then you can join my online course. The details are available on the website. You can also go and like my Facebook page because we are running a Go Net quiz every day. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel because every Saturday and Sunday I post new videos for UGC Net aspirants. At the same time, if you want to know more about me, uh, my educational background, my net certificate, the links are given in the description box below. You can go and check for a list of writers which are important from net point of view. You can get the list on my website www.arpitakarva.com. So till the time we meet next, bye-bye, see you and keep loving literature.